Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys the trade day results for the seven players that we do have up. I was supposed to check them like an hour later, but I have some stuff to do throughout the day, so I have to do it a little bit earlier, but it's not, it doesn't matter too much. We got uh, 112 trade offers on seven of the players, so uh, we'll definitely have to check them right now. We'll work our way from the bottom all the way to the top, and we'll try to keep this trade day results as quick as possible. Okay, so Nazem Kadri, 18 trade offers. Let's see what he has on him. And on the first one, we got Tyler Bozak and 3,000 coins. Not a bad deal. I will delay that. Uh, there's also Coglan and Otwal. A couple bronze players there, but nothing too great there. Uh, there's also Team of the Week, Barkov and Tyson Berry. Not a bad deal. I will definitely delay that. Probably the leading one so far. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, Meyer Sharp, and Dreisaitl. All players with a little bit of value, but I will definitely see if I'm going to be taking that later. Uh, Paul Walker and two Brums. All right, not going to take that, of course. 13,000 coins and a bronze contract. Of course, don't really need coins, in my opinion. Uh, there's also Andrew Ladd and Matt Molson. Uh, there's also Nazem Kadri. All right. Uh, not, probably not going to take that, of course. You just put in 69 coins, probably just a troll trade. Uh, there's also Logan Couture and 5.6K. Okay, keep going here. Ryan O'Reilly, Pominville, and Stastny. Uh, not worth too much on those ones. Same with this deal. Lots of 85s and 84s, but nothing too special there. Uh, Marion Hosa, Ryan O'Reilly, Derek Stepan, and Ryan Miller. Um, I'm not sure how much Miller is worth, but I don't think he's worth too much. Uh, there's also Patrick Hornquist. Not going to take that. Krejci, Spezza, and Gergensens. Don't exactly need that either. Uh, Felino, Green, Wyman, and Laner. All right. There's also Junior Flashback, Chris Letang. Not sure how much he's worth, but his skating and his defense isn't that great. So don't necessarily need that as well. Uh, Dirty Ribeiro. Uh, and there's also Patrick Sharp, Galchenyuk, and Forsberg. So those are all the deals for Kadri. Uh, let me just choose which one I want to take. Okay, so out of all the deals, I think I'm going to be taking the Team of the Week Barkov. And out of all the deals, they are pretty good, but uh, just having one Team of the Week player and then one uh, pretty good defenseman definitely doesn't hurt. And Barkov is the same overall as Nazem Kadri anyway. So there you go. Enjoy Barkov, and let's move on to Phil Kessel. Okay, so Phil Kessel, 16 trade offers that we need to check. And uh, I haven't really checked any of the trade offers on any of the players, so we'll definitely have to see what I decide on. So first is Alexander Gilchenyuk, Movember card. There's also 5,000 coins in there as well, so we will delay that one. Uh, Yaroslav Halak, 90 overall with 4,000 coins. Goalies don't go for too much, so I will definitely have to reconsider. Uh, Taylor Hall and 3,000 coins. All right, pretty, pretty good sniper as well. Uh, Nazim Kadri, lots of like New York Islander change team guys, but uh, McKinnon, he's not worth too much. Uh, there's also Bacchus, Stepan, and Nicholas Cronwall Jr. flashback. I will delay that. Uh, Zach Parise, lots of good left wing and right wing guys, but I don't know if Parise is worth Phil Kessel's value. But even though I'm not really checking values here, just kind of going off the players. Olimata, Bolesky, Werkosh, Harrison, don't need that. Uh, Larson, Lego, and Felino, a couple uh, Buffalo guys with no contracts. Uh, Bro Dean and 50,000 coins. Solid amount of coins, so uh, I will definitely reconsider that one as well. Uh, Milan Lucic, uh, Movember Pasternak, and uh, Team of the Week Jordan Stahl. Uh, Jordan Stahl already has a Team of the Year, so I'm a little afraid of taking that card. Uh, let's see what else is next. Rick Nash and Gabriel Landeskog. Not a bad deal as well. Uh, Ryan Kessler and 20,000 coins. All right, for Phil Kessel. Uh, Petrangelo and Braden Holpe. Not a bad deal as well. A couple good players and or goalie and a player. Uh, we also got Jack Eichel, Marion Gabrick, and we also got some change uh, teams on those guys as well. Uh, there's also Corey Perry and Marlow. Pretty good duo there for that trade offer. Uh, there's also Nathan McKinnon, Gustav Nyquist, uh, Anthony Duclair, and Mitch Marner. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, so those are the deals that we have on Phil Kessel. So I'll be right back with my decision. Okay guys, so there's a lot of good offers on Phil Kessel. I will quickly go through the ones that I like. A couple Movember guys, I really do like Taylor Hall and 3,000 coins. There's also, um, there's that Zach Parise in 8,000 coins. I'm just thinking which one is like the closest overall to Phil Kessel plus the coins. That kind of adds up to his value. Uh, Larson, Lego, and Foligno, uh, keep going here. There's a 50,000 coin deal, but I know Phil Kessel is 65,000 coins because I did buy him from the market for 65. So I'm not sure if I want to take that deal. Uh, Lucci, Pastrnak, Team of the Week, couple of good players there as well. I did like this Rick Nash and Gabriel Landeskog deal. Two solid players. 
Uh, there's also, what else, Petrangelo and Braden Holpe. I was thinking that was a pretty good duel as well, except I'm not sure how much both of those guys are worth. But the deal I really like the most is this Corey Perry and the Patrick Marlowe deal. I'm just thinking Corey Perry, 89 overall with that 92 shooting, and Patrick Marlowe, he's probably worth a little bit as well. So they can't be too far off of Phil Kessel's value. So that is the deal I'm going to be taking, unfortunately, for everybody else. So there you go. Enjoy your Phil Kessel. I will take Corey Perry and Patrick Marlowe. Okay, so next up is Jonathan Quick. He has 16 trade offers, so let's see who's going to get him. On the first one, there's Krejci, Zuccarello, Goudreau, and Lupul. whole bunch of gold guys that aren't worth too much, unfortunately. Uh, Darren Helm at 1,800 coins. There's also Hellebuck and uh, 30,000 coins. Let me know, Winnipeg fans, if I said that right. I kind of want to know how to pronounce his name properly, but uh, keep on going here. There's also Braden Shen Movember and 17,000 coins. Uh, there's Tuka Rask and Martin Jones, two solid goaltenders there as well. Uh, Mike Smith, Sammy Vatanen, and Gustav Nyquist. whole bunch of good players there as well. 45,000, uh, sorry, Brian Elliott in that deal. There's also a player of the game, Yaroslav Halak, and 10,000 coins. That's a really nice looking card there. 42,000 coins and a bronze contract. There's also Braden Holpe, Chris Letang, Chris Kreider. Uh, definitely delayed that one. Braden Holpe, uh, De Derek Stepan, and Roman Yossi. So lots of good offers on uh, Jonathan Quick. Two more guys with uh, two more Buffalo guys with no contracts there. Hellebuck, Yandel, Felino, and Barry with 69 coins. I really think the 30,000 and the Hellebuck is definitely a lot better. So definitely that deal is better than that one. Uh, Evander Kane and Yurisla Palak. Uh, okay, uh, Tyler Johnson, Jordan Pavelski, Joe Pavelski, sorry, and Patrick Marlowe. And there's also Pekka Rene and Blake Wheeler. Okay, so I think I know which one I'm going to pick for Jonathan Quick. Uh, but there's also a new deal that came in. Seigenthaler with 41,000 coins. We'll not be taking that one because I think there are some better deals here. Uh, but there were a few that definitely interested me. And I will tell you guys my favorites in this deal. Uh, there's also Hellebuck and 30,000 coins. And that was one of my favorites for sure. There's also, who do I like? Tuka Rask and Martin Jones. Martin Jones right now playing the San Jose Sharks, so definitely have a, has a chance of getting maybe uh, some upgrade cards, and that could be worth a little bit, but I'm just not sure how much Tuka Rask is worth. Uh, keep going here. There's also that uh, Movember Mike Smith. Not sure how many uh, upgrade cards he's going to get in the future, but I don't think he's worth too much more. Uh, there's also Brian Elliott, uh, Yaroslav Halak. Lots of goalies people are trying to upgrade for sure. Brian Holpe, Chris Letang, and Chris Kreider was a pretty good one as well. And I think my favorite here is uh, not the Vander Kane, not the Johnson. Lots of good players there, but I think the best deal here is the Pecorine, Blake Wheeler, and the 15,000 coins. Honestly, Pecorine is an awesome goalie. I know there's a definite want for him in the marketplace. Same with Blake Wheeler. There's a little bit of value there as well. With the 15,000 coins, I think you cannot go wrong for that deal for Jonathan Quick. So there you go. Enjoy your Jonathan Quick. I'll take uh, Pecorine and Blake Wheeler, and we'll move on to Pavel Datsuk. Okay, so the magic man, Pavel Datsuk, 12 different trade offers on him, so let's see who wants him here. Uh, James Neal and 11,111 coins for the first deal. I will delay that. Uh, next up is Brent Seabrook, Zach Parise, Mike Camilleri, and uh, Jack Eichel. Lots of good players there. I will delay that. There's also Pozo, Giordano, and a change team, Toronto, without the Toronto Maple Leaf logo there. I don't know why, but we will delay that one. Henrik Sedin and Martin Jones, okay. Uh, 115,000 coins and a Vancouver Canucks jersey. All right. Uh, Bufflin, Wheeler, Kessler, and Gustav Nyquist. Lots of 87 guys in that one. Uh, there's also Rasmus Ristolainen, I think that's his first name, and 50,000 coins. All right. Uh, DeLaurier and Brian Gianna. Once again, some players without contracts. And there's also Brett Hull, 92 overall. Uh, that kind of rhymed there, but uh, we will delay that one. There's also Jamie Benn. All right. Pretty good deals. Connor McDavid, Patrick Krejci. Uh, I know McDavid's worth a little bit, so we'll definitely have to check. Uh, Giroux and Voracek and 20,000 coins. So lots of good players here, and uh, we'll definitely have to see which one's the best. All right, so definitely lots of good offers on Pavel Datsuk for this time around. Uh, I will go through my favorites once again, and uh, I did like this deal as well. Lots of good players, but not sure if I want to take that four-for-one deal. Uh, there's also Ocpozo and Giordano. Uh, Henrik Sedin, uh, let me just go through the ones I like. The 115,000 coins was definitely not bad as well. I was definitely considering that one. Uh, let me go here. Rasmus Ristolainen, not sure how much the Flash Forward card is. I don't really want to take the risk on that one. 
Uh, there's also Brett Hull, which I really liked, uh, with 11,000 coins as well. He's got that 97 shooting, so I'm thinking uh, he's worth a little bit, but once again, Legends have definitely dropped in price uh, because I have been like kind of buying Legends over my for my uh, main team, I guess, and I remember Brett Hull is one of the cheaper ones. Uh, there's also Jamie Benn. He's definitely going to be worth a little bit for collections at least. Uh, there's also Connor McDavid, Pat Trady, Krejci, as well as uh, two Philly guys, Giroux and Voracek. And some solid players there, but these guys are both 88 overalls, and those usually don't go for too much. So, the deal I'm going to be taking is going to be the Jamie Ben, And I'm thinking he's pretty close to, I'm going to guess he's pretty close to Pavel Datsuk's value, because they both have a pretty big name in the marketplace. And you can't go wrong with the Jamie Ben and Pavel Datsuk trade. So, there you go. Enjoy Pavel Datsuk, and we'll move on to the final three players, Patrick Kane, Kuznetsov, and Ovechkin. Okay, so we're down to our final three expensive cards here. So Patrick Kane, 21 trade offers. We have to check. There's also Tavares and 75,000 coins for the first deal. Uh, there is Adam Larson, Bossy, and Bukestad on that second deal. All right. Uh, Johansson, Komarov, Nash, and Duclair. Uh, there's also Kohonen, uh, Kohonen, uh, Giroux, and Gilmore with 52,000 coins. Uh, Luke Robitaille, Carter, Backstrom, and 20,000. Uh, keep going here. Bronze contract, 69 coins. Johnny Goudreau, Nicholas Cromwell, and Yermer Yager. So, not a bad trade. I will definitely consider that one. 218,000 coins. There's also another Brett Hull there. 195,000 coins. A lot of people offering up all their banks, I guess. Uh, Getzlaff, Ho Hoffman, and Galchenyuk. Uh, okay, alright. Mark Stone, Thornton, Ehlers, and Anderson on the next one. All right, uh, Vincent Trocheck, Team of the Year, Neely, Legend Card, and Patrice Bergeron. All right, lots of good deals. All right, it's going to be definitely hard to uh, choose which one. Mike Medano, Vladimir Tarasenko, okay. Uh, Bork, Gilmore, Verbata, and Gallagher. Uh, Johnny Goudreau again with the Marion Gabrick in there this time. Uh, there's also Picard. Uh, Redmond and Rick Nash, Duchesne, Latang, and McKinnon. So those are all the deals. So let me go through them once again, and let me just pick my favorite one. Okay, guys, so I think I made my decision here, but there's a lot of good offers that I just want to take all of them, really. Uh, but I will go through the ones that I like the most. There were some new ones like this deal, Corey Schneider, Sedin, Giordano, and Seabrook uh, going on. I did like this Tavares deal. I think he's worth a little bit, but Patrick Kane, uh, I can definitely tell he's worth quite a bit because you know, he's one of the most wanted players in the game. Uh, Larson, Bossy, and Bukestad, I also really like that deal as well. Even though I already have a Larson, and I kind of know his value already, so I can kind of pinpoint where this uh, value is. Uh, same with Roman. Uh, that was an okay deal with Ryan Johansson. Uh, Giroux, Gilmore. Uh, some pretty good deals there. Uh, I like the Johnny Goudreau. And the thing is, I have been eyeing Goudreau for quite some time because I was going to buy either Patrick Kane or Johnny Goudreau for my team before. I remember Goudreau was going for about 200k before the team of the year came out. And uh, I'm going to guess that his value has dropped to probably like 180 or 170. Uh, so with those two players, I kind of know the value already. I'm thinking the best deal out of all of them uh, might be the 218,000 coins. Uh, there's also some other deals as well. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff, Hoffman, and Gelchenyuk. Some pretty good players there as well. I know Hoffman is worth a little bit. Getzlaff is worth a little bit. And that should add up pretty close to the Kane's value. Uh, but also there's Vincent Trocek, Neil, Neely. I just sold a Trocek and I kind of know his value already as well. Uh, Medano, Vladimir Tarasenko. Not a bad deal. I really like this one. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know how much Mike Medano is because he is a legend card. It's probably dropped a lot in value. Uh, two legend cards in that one. And once again, the Goudreau is pretty good as well. So out of all the deals, I think, like I said, the best one is the coins. And the reason why I'm taking the coins is just because instead of taking a deal that's worth like 200,000 coins, I can just take the coins straight up and not have to worry about selling anybody, getting the EA tax. I'll just have straight up just coins for Patrick Kane. So this is the deal I'm going to be taking. So there you go. Enjoy Patrick Kane. And we got two more players left, Evgeny Kuznetsov and Alexander Ovechkin. All right, so Kuzi, 19 trade offers for him. He's their second highest valued player here. So let's see what we get here. Lots of troll trades, I'm guessing. There it is. Uh, there's also player of the game, Tyler Sagan, uh, Shea Theodore, Dion Phaneuf, John Scott. Uh, I will delay that one. Uh, Nisimov, Bodker, Dreisaitl, and Panarin. All right, lots of special cards in that one. Uh, Richard and 28.6K. 
K, Marion Hosa, Nelson, Dubinsky, and Vatnin. All right, definitely not worth Kuznetsov's value there. 195,000 coins. Uh, Jack Eichel, all right, the Movember edition. I would definitely consider that one. Uh, Nick Lidstrom, Kuzi, Hudler, and uh, Forsberg as well. All right, there's also the Movember Kuznetsov with 13,000 coins. Not sure if I want to take that. This is a freshly played or freshly pulled Kuznetsov. And uh, I know the Movembers are usually not worth as much as the team of the years. I don't know why. Uh, 209,000 coins, all right. Philip Forsberg and Oliver ekman Larson. Philip Forsberg is not going for too much right now. He's one of the lower end Movember cards that are not going for like 140, 150k maybe. Uh, Hall, Duchesne, and Pavelski, all right. Subban, uh, Johansson, Landeskog, and JVR. And there's also 200,000 coins. So those are all the deals for the player, uh, for all the deals for Kuznetsov. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll choose the one I like the most. Okay, so I did have to take a look at some of the values. I just kind of need to know how much some of the player of the games were worth and stuff like that because it's definitely hard to tell how much they're just valued in the marketplace sometimes. But uh, there's a new offer that came in. There was Larkin and 108,000 coins. Uh, not a bad deal, of course. Um, let me keep going here. There were some other favorites as well uh, going on. Player of the game, Sagan. That was the one I kind of just need to look at. Because I wasn't sure how much his uh, regular version was going for and the player of the game version. So I just need to take another look at that. Uh, there's also, uh, what else was there? There was that Jack Eichel. Where's the Jack Eichel? Jack Eichel with the 99 coins. Uh, I really like that deal as well. I just know that Kuznetsov is going for a little bit more than Eichel. So uh, there's also Nicholas Lidstrom, 21,000 coins. Uh, and I, I also took a look at Movember Kuznetsov as well. Just because I was a little bit curious to know how much his value was worth compared to the team of the year. And they are pretty close in value. Uh, so I'm really thinking, there's some other deals here as well. Uh, 200,000 coins, lots of good coin deals. Uh, P.K. Subban, Paul Duchesne Pavelski. But I really think the best deal out of all these ones is going to be the Movember Kuznetsov and the 13,000 coins. I mean, their values are pretty much similar, plus you're getting the 13,000 coins extra. I really don't think you can go wrong with this deal. So I will take that deal. Enjoy your Team of the Year koozie. I will take the Movember one. And I'll move on to the final player, Ovi. Alright, so 10 trade offers on the Great 8. Let's see what we're going to pick for him. It's a pretty crazy valued player, so we'll definitely have to see what we're going to pick here. First one, 500,000 coins and uh, true. Uh, there's also 200,000 uh, coins and Connor McDavid. Oh man, some pretty solid deals. 62,000 coins and Pollock, uh, Rass, Zetterberg, Giroux, and Kessel. Lots of good 88 players, but not going to add up to Obi's value. Goligoski, uh, there's also Larkin, Sedin, Gibson, and Verbata. Once again, not worth too much. Neil and the team of the week, Neil. Uh, Rista Linen, Subban, Hornquist, and Pavelski with 150,000 coins. All right. Matt Duchesne and 470, as well as Team of the Year Luongo and uh, Tyler Toffoli. So lots of good trade offers here. I'll be right back with my final decision. Okay, so definitely a lot of good trade offers that I was considering, but there was a new one that just came in. Connor McDavid, Jack Eichel, and uh, Mike Hoffman with 11,111 coins. And, uh... Well, we'll keep going here. I'll keep seeing my favorites. There, there was this one as well. 500,000 coins and true. That is a very solid deal for sure. Uh, there's also this Connor McDavid and 200,000 coins. And if you really compare it to the first offer, uh, I think the first offer is definitely better than this one. So I will delay it. Just the Jack Eichel is worth more than 200,000 coins. Uh, what else was a really good one? There was also... That was not a bad deal. Just I, the 4 for 1 deals. Uh, usually it's not worth too much. And I uh, uh, don't really need that. Matt Duchesne, 470,000 coins. Pretty good deal as well. The Luongo and Tyler Toffoli. And I consider this one as well. The thing is, I know how much Tyler Toffoli is going for. I really do not think that Roberto Luongo is going to make up for it. So Tyler Toffoli is usually about 100 to 125k. So Roberto Luongo has to be worth 400,000 coins just to make this deal even worth it. And I'm a little afraid that he isn't. So out of all the deals is definitely going to be this deal right here. And the reason why I'm taking this, uh, Connor McDavid, I know he's worth at least 300,000 coins. Uh, Jack Eichel, you know, he's worth about 200,000 as well, and the Hoffman as well. It definitely beats all of them by, all the other deals by a landslide. So 
There you go. Enjoy Alexander Ovechkin. I'm taking these three players. Enjoy him. He's such a good player to use. He was my first line left wing for a long time. So anyways, all the trades are done. So that is just about it for this trade day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know once again in the comments what players you'd like to see next up on the trade block. You can also let me know if I made any mistakes with the trade day. I thought I was pretty spot on. I kind of know the values here and there because I was building a crazy ultimate team for my division one team. So I kind of know the values a little bit so I can kind of just ballpark it. But that is just about it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this trade day. Once again, leave it a like if you can. Thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Yes, Colonel gets the goal. Top, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what happened there. But uh, Colonel just kind of did a couple things to beat up Heaven. And